It's Manuel Bilic versus Jack Cartwright for the World Bantamweight title. The challenger, Manuel Sugar Well, about as good a reception as Manuel Village could have expected here in Manchester. He is walking into enemy territory tonight to challenge for the Cage Warriors of Bantamweight title in what is going to be one of my most anticipated Cage Warriors main events in a long, long time, Josh. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Manuel Village uh, representing AK-16 Australia, 25 years old and 21 pro fights, 15-6 is his record. He has an absolutely outstanding finish rate. 86% of his wins are by finishes and a pretty good mix of them at that. He's had one Cage Warriors appearance before. That was his last fight. Picked up that third round rear naked choke uh, over Brian Crichton back at Cage Warriors 101 in February. That was actually his only bout of 2019 as well. Made his debut all the way back in 2013. He's had a year off now. Biggest layoff of his career and he's had a lot of time to prep and think about Jack Carr. Right. Yeah, and a really interesting contest last time we saw him, Josh. If you remember, he was actually uh, docked points for a headbutt to the stomach just moments before uh, that incredible finish against Brian Crichton. He got the uh, what, drop Brian Crichton with a big shot, then got the submission there back at Cage Warriors 101. As you say, won six of his last seven contests and a huge 13 wins inside the distance. Seven by TKO, six submissions. He's unorthodox, he's dynamic, he's exciting. He poses a lot of questions. Yeah, and as, as we heard in the VT there, you know, never been knocked out. And uh, Jack Cartwright's going to try and test that. The Cage Warriors Battleweight Champion! Jack Cartwright entered the Cage Warriors cage. We called him the wild card. We called him the dark horse at that four-man bantamweight tournament. He came in as the rank outsider in terms of what the bookmakers were saying. Oh my goodness, how things can change in a very, very short space of time. Yeah, what a night that was for Jack Cartwright. Just 25 years old, currently undefeated at 7-0. and oh, He is the Cage Warriors bantamweight champion, of course, crowned at that one-night tournament. The Cage Warriors unplugged in London back in September. KO'd Scott Malone in 49 seconds. Uh, and then KO'd Marco Kovacevic in uh, about three and a half minutes in the first round of their bout. They're the best opponents he faced today, and he just took them out in the first round. He has huge power for a 135er, but he's got fantastic wrestling to back it up, and the wrestling is what most people expect, and then they get hit with that Roman right. Yeah, I don't know what people expect anymore from Jack Cartwright. He's got so many facets to his game as he just undergoes final preparations there at the Apex Fightwear prep point. He's got hammers in either hand. This is a kid who, at 10 years old, was traveling the world, traveling to places like Russia, all over Eastern Europe, and competing in wrestling competitions. No parents with him, just him, and a coach and a sports bag with wrestling boots and a singlet and this guy's going out there and fighting and competing against some of the best in Europe. Now he's allowed to hit people as well. This is a dangerous, dangerous man. Without further ado then, let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this, our bantamweight title fight, our main event this evening sponsored by Apex Fightwear. Both men just 25 years of age, both men are 5 foot 9 inches tall. The vastly more experienced challenger, Manuel Bilic, comes in with a 15 and 6 record. Cartwright though, he's perfect at 7 and 0, and he's a heavy bookmaker's favourite. It's five five minute rounds for the big gold belt, so let's...
technically brilliant there from the champion. Oh, Malo Vilic has taken off his gloves in the cage here. That's usually an indication that the fighter is retiring in it. And if that is it for Mano Village, I mean, what a performance to go out on. Our judges, Ben Carnage, Dave Leatherby and Mark Collette tallying their scorecards at cage side here. We're just moments away from getting our decision from three of the best judges in the game as Jack Cartwright celebrates in front of this Manchester crowd. As well he might. Well, the champion certainly put through the ringer there by the challenger. Phenomenal performances all round. So for one last time, we throw this to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Your judges have scored this bout 48-47, 49-46, and 50-45 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision and...